step into the vibe Oh yeah Feel the rhythm rise high We're living life Let's fly off tap life Sky's the limit, no shy Off tap life What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another warning reaction. Now, as you guys know, yesterday I decided to indulge myself with some chocolate cake and we're back with some more chocolate cake. I couldn't resist, I need it more. And uh, so we're gonna do that. Now we've already done the warning more, more, you get it? More, the song, more. <laughs> but this time we're gonna do money, we're gonna check it out. It has a lot of views. I think someone in the comments mentioned it a couple times in the past. So. Without further ado, for me and all of you, the warning, money, is going down. So let's get off tap. Man, I was freaking vibing out so much. <laughs> I was just like, oh man, I was just gonna freaking keep vibing out to this. And then I realized that it might be a good idea for me to say a little some, some, just an instant reaction video. But I know some people wait till the end of the song, but I don't know, you gotta say what you're feeling in that moment. And in that moment, I was feeling like, I just wanted to vibe out. That's how good this is. This is what we're talking about. This is what I've been missing, you see. I love, love, love listening to their late you know latest stuff their newer stuff i should say because some of the stuff that's really choked that we did last night was freaking three years old so that's like three years old this one's two years old so we still ain't even listening to the newest 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 stuff yet so i'm looking forward to all of it though this is all great stuff we got to go through the greatest hits let me know in the comments so are you guys wanting me to continue in chronological order you know just keep going you know, at the pace that we were going, going through the A until we get to the Z. Or are you happy for me to just jump around a bit? Because, you know, my money <laughs> is on us just jumping around. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because it's all good no matter what it is. But, you know, like I said yes yesterday, you know, you, you sometimes you just want the chocolate cake every day. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. All right, let's keep going.
everything just hits so much differently now. It really does. I, it just... I know, I, I always just, you know, appreciated their music, right? I mean, well, the new stuff that I had heard at the time, which was probably only like about three songs, right? Before we went into the whole beginning, the early days, all that kind of stuff. The full house days, you know, <laughs> back in the day when they were just, you know, like that. But here's the thing, man, like, now I'm listening to all this, like, it's just really... You can't help but appreciate the hard work and effort that much more, right? And it's just freaking, it feels like it's just smashing, like it's just hitting so much harder, you know? But it's always like that, you know, when you can see improvement, when you can see growth, when you can see the story unfold, when you can see where someone came from and where they ended up, when you see all those things, it just really adds to it, doesn't it? It just makes it extra special, extra juicy, extra awesome. And uh, yeah, good thing there was a warning. Let them bring it home. I'll give my final thoughts. Let go. Sensational. Total package. Total package is something that you don't always know you got until you got it. And maybe you don't have it all until you do. And the cool thing about the warning is, well, 10 years ago or more, but you know, when the story first started, all those many years ago, the cool thing is, is that their parents probably saw it. They probably saw it and said, they've got the package. They've got the total package. They are the quadruple, more than a quadruple threat. I mean, they play a million instruments. They can do it all. Sing, play a zillion instruments, and still freaking look super cool while doing it. Being the total package means you've got all those boxes ticked. Not two, not three, not even four. I mean, you've got to have as many as possible ticked. And needless to say, I mean, we all are watching the same video. We can see that they've ticked them all twice, three times, a few times even. That's how good they are. And I love that. I love that because here's the thing. A lot of times in life, that, you know, thing that's needed, you know, sometimes, especially think about how old they were. So they were kids, right? Someone had to see that spark. Someone had to see that brilliance. Someone had to see it. And not only see it, but believe in it. They had to believe in it enough to put every single bit of faith, energy, and all kinds of things when you're starting out. You know, you've got to make some sacrifices along the way. And it's hard when you're first starting out, you know, with a band, as a solo artist, all these things. You've got a lot of hard work blood, sweat, tears, sacrifice. It has to go into getting where you want to get to. Now, here's the crazy thing. They didn't know probably as kids. They were just having fun. They were just following their heart, just playing their little hearts out, having their passion just manifest right before their eyes. And I didn't realize it. To them, they were just probably people who enjoyed music and just loved, you know, the instruments, the sounds of the instruments. They loved singing. They loved playing, you know. It was just their fun, probably hobby. They probably, who knows, probably even at that time weren't really thinking, oh, I want to be mega stars or anything like that. They probably were just thinking, I just want to do this because it's freaking awesome and it's fun and it's super cool. And here's, you know, a thing that has to somehow grow, right? A seed that has to grow. It has to somehow come to life, come to fruition. And as kids, you know, a lot of kids say they want to do things. They say, when I grow up, I want to do this or I want to be that. Or, you know, they express certain interests at a young age and then they grow out of it. You know, you know, there's tons of kids who was freaking, you know, 8, 10, 11, 
you know, taking some type of piano lesson or something like that. And then finally they were like, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. And they're just instead outside freaking, you know, playing in the mud. I don't know, you know, but there's, there's this thing that happens when you find a seed that people see potential in. And you can water it and you can nurture it and you can do all these things. But there's one thing you can't do as an onlooker, right? You can't physically grow that seed yourself. The seed has to put in some effort. Do you know what I mean? Like the seed has to make an, a, a, an attempt of some sort to get everything working. Because if the seed doesn't believe in itself, well, the seed is just going to freaking probably die and fade away and it's not going to grow into anything. The seed has to put in the effort and the work. It's like the thing, you know, you can believe in freaking your best friend, your wife, your kids, whoever. You can believe in them that they can do something that maybe they've discussed in passing. Maybe they've told you, this is my dream, this is my this, my that. But they have to put in the effort and work. They have to believe in it too. They have to believe in an impossible dream. If they don't, it doesn't matter. They ain't achieving anything. They have to do it too. And that's so important, right? So these kids had to have that reinforcement, that positive reinforcement, right? Now, good parents are good at that. You can do anything you put your mind to. You can do it, sweetie. You can do it. You can become rock stars. You can become the biggest rock group of all time. You can do it, right? Now, again, parents are like that. Parents believe that their kids can, most parents, good parents, believe that their kids can accomplish great things, that they can grow up to be freaking an astronaut and go to the moon and do whatever else that they're dreaming of. But a lot of times, again, it's the kids who just don't believe in themselves or maybe the dream that is being so forced upon them isn't their dreams, their parents' dreams. So therefore, they just end up being like, eventually realizing them, like, screw that. I never want to be a ballerina. That was your dream. You know what I mean? That happens a lot. Parents want to see their dreams come to life through their kids. But the warning enters a picture and we see something very special and very different here. We see a dream. We see a seed that has all the potential in the world to be incredible and amazing. We see parents that obviously believed in their potential and supported their growth and believed and knew in their heart that their kids had something. They had that quadruple, multi-druple threat potential to be the greatest. They believed in it, but it, the buck didn't stop there. The kids believed in it too. And that's why in 2024, ladies and gentlemen, you have the warning as one of the greatest female rock groups on the planet right now. And that's a fact. And if you don't think so, well... Have you listened to their music? I mean, maybe you're a little bit broken. You know, maybe you have to turn up your freaking volume on your hearing aid, your TV, or whatever that you're listening to them on. Because it ain't working if you can't hear and see the freaking incredible talent that these amazing freaking girls have. Now, stage presence is so important. Having the total package is so important. Having the vocal ability, the freaking musical ability, all these things are so important. But you gotta have a good team around, you gotta have a good support network. And there's where we once again go back to thank the parents. Because you can tell that that support network, everything that they needed to get to where they are today, the parents played a big part in that. And that is money. <laughs> Y'all like how I did that? 
Anywho, I'm a professional. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look, guys, by the way, it's almost Christmas. Season's greetings. Make sure you're staying safe out there. But you can give the gift of a reaction request to someone you love, to someone you hate. To yourself even. Treat yourself. Go ahead. Let your hair down. Treat yourself to a reaction request. The link's in the description. It's real easy to do. You put the title to song, the title to artist. You know, you put the freaking little shout outs you want to do. Maybe you want to shout out someone who, you know, maybe you got like a song that, you know, someone broke your heart and you want to freaking shout them out and be like, hey, you're a, <laughs> you know, one of those words. <laughs> Use your imagination. Uh, and then you could just tell me and I'll, I'll say it if that's what you want me to say on air. You don't hear me saying those type of things ever. I don't think you've ever heard me. But uh, I will if that's what you want. <laughs> just as long as that's towards the end of the video. Because early on, you know, allegedly YouTube don't like that. So, Anyways. Reaction request, link in description. Give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscribe. If you're feeling generous, that'd be very nice. But otherwise, thank you. And as always, remember to my fullest, keep it off tap. Off.